while talking to it just occurred to me what do you think the cord blood save the cord blood for this what we call as a totipotent mm. cells mm. and when mm. these kids have these autoimmune thing mm. does this help to have these totipotent cells and they say that put it in the pancreas and it will start using. so what we are essentially talking about is any kind of stem, stem cell, cell therapy yeah. right so stem cells can have different origins your cord blood is one of the origins of possible stem cells so today till a few years back there was reasonable attempts at trying to look at stem cells as a potential treatment for cure for type 1 diabetes unfortunately all the studies done across the world and enough work done in this field did not yield sufficient results Let's also understand that whether it's stem cell therapy or any kind of transplant then the anti stem cell rejection treatment itself has multiple side effects. Okay. So you haven't seen sufficient uptake and they've tried everything right from using the entire eyelids to the more purified ones and trying to infuse that and now looking at stem cells. So as of today uh, it still continues to be an experimental work. And I say this because unfortunately you may hear about somebody sitting here and there and offering stem cell therapy for cure for any kinds of diabetes one should be wary none of this is validated approved proven therapy so far